Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So in this section, we are going to take a or create a product page for the, the courses. So previously, we created an index page that showed a, a grid of the, the available courses on our, our demo website. And now we're going to have a product page that's going to show the individual course. So the thought is this will be something that you can click on on the, the main index page and go into a detail page where there'll be a buy now button on the page that will add that product to the cart for the customer to check out with. Now I've come up with a little coding assignment. I've generated a stub of the, the code assignment. I want to step through that in, in IntelliJ and Chrome and tell you what I'm expecting in this code assignment. A couple little challenges to throw at you, get you a little more used to using Bootstrap CSS, even though it's not a focus of this course. I want to get your feet wet with it. And we were going to be using this HTML page going forward in the course. Okay, I'm in IntelliJ now. And what I've done is I've created an, another HTML file called product HTML and the, the header of it is almost the same. We have the same style block. I've collapsed that out for clarity. We have a title box and now I'm saying Spring Framework Guru course name there on line five and the container section is completely gone. I deleted the div section for the Jumbotron and I've, I've come up with a brief HTML here outline using a couple rows and a couple column things. And I'm going to toggle over to Chrome now, and we'll take a look at the whole course assignment. Okay, so here's the, the course the page in, in Chrome, and this is the current course assignment. So at the title of the page is uh, Spring Framework Guru course name, and we are going to replace that with dynamic content eventually. We have a course image that's 506 pixels by 290 pixels. We want to take that and put that where the screen green block is. And on this page, I also removed the Jumbotron image that was on the index page, and I'm challenging you to re-add it back in. And we'll put that in and make the, the course look nice. And then the, the next thing, on the index page, I want you to change the URLs on that page for the individual uh, courses or products, if we want to call them that, to point over to this page. So the URLs will be working URLs right now. I'm not quite sure what they do, but for our testing purposes, following the natural templating language of Timeleaf, we want those URLs to point over to this page. Number four, we want to add some Lipsum text. So find your favorite Lipsum generator and add some text for the course description. And that will be on the right hand side of the course there where you see that box says course description, add Lipsum text here. Number five, we're going to do a buy now button and we'll use that through Bootstrap CSS. And then, yeah, I already covered number six to update the index page links. Okay. In the next module, I'll show you my implementation of this and what we're doing in, in this coding exercise is we're establishing the baseline. So we'll have two pages that we're going to work with. They're static HTML content, but going forward in the course, we are going to be taking that content and using Timeleaf to replace it with dynamic content that we're going to look up with Spring and Spring MVC. So the, the course pages, that will, they'll go to a course page and then we'll be getting course data from Spring to display it on that page. And the static content, like the Lipsum text that we were adding, that's going to go away. And so we'll make this, this page, right now we're making a view pretty in our development cycle using the natural templating language of Timeleaf. And actually it's not even a Timeleaf template yet, but we are going to preserve that going forward. So this page will always look good in the browser, but we're setting ourselves up for the course right now to start handling dynamic content from Spring.